first week, Chloe abandons us for drinking. Someone offers to worship my feet. David said that he would do it for $25, and Nessa's pussy causes us a lot of problems. David, is this right? No, her cat. Oh, well, yes, I technically have. Technically, pussy works too, but, you know, that sounds kind of dirty. So oh. Let's just use cat. There's cats, right. Okay, cat. Nessa's cat has caused us a lot of problems. I, where there was a miss, sorry, it was, things went wrong. Let's just strap down. Let's strap in. And let's do this. This is just another trucking podcast. Hello, this is Just Another Trucking Podcast. I am your host, Tom, and I'm joined, as always, by all of my friends, <laughs> my co-hosts. David, I have questions for you. Yeah? Where the fuck is everyone? I fired them. I'm sorry. I fired them. You fired yeah. them? I got, an, I, got a, I got into a bit of a power trip this week, and uh, <laughs> I let everybody I mean, go. I have uh, questions. You'd because... know. You'd know if you were actually paying attention to the chat. All right? Which I discovered that Tom doesn't actually uh, listen to the when we're when we're talking on the the WhatsApp group. Uh, there's only four of us. Tom's like, yeah, you know what? Uh, right. So I catch so, I catch up another time. So <laughs> I I have managed. So I've I I'm not great at keeping up with these some of these chats. I'm not great at it. And so we've got like we have like a dedicated chat, just like like just kind of keeping up with it, all the stuff. And I have managed for quite a while i think to get away with pretending that i listen to all of it by occasionally popping in last listening to the last few messages and then saying something <laughs> and then everyone's like oh yeah tom must be listening nope i've listened to some of it partially however david this week has fully called me out on that shit and been like you've not listened to any of this and i'm like <laughs> honestly no <laughs> no i haven't <laughs> um so yeah, I, I I got caught out for doing something. <laughs> See, here's here's as well. All right, so Tom at the start of the week, I think it was like a Monday. He said, "Hey, uh, I can't actually do the podcast on Saturday, so can we do it during the week?" And we didn't hear from him from that point on until Friday, right? Before, sorry, Thursday, right before they were actually. I feel like we talked about this during the week at some point. I we, feel like. He, but he never I, listened to I, one bloody thing. And it was just, he started the ball rolling. We're, it was all organized. The patrons were told this is the time it was going to be and everything. And uh, because we just presumed he was, look, look, he was, but no, 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 not Tom. He wouldn't. <laughs> I, yeah. So uh, basically I, uh, I, I have to individually message him if there's anything important now. So uh, <laughs> yeah. At least people have figured bloody it trick. out by now. So I was watching, um, oh shit. <laughs> By the way, we're just getting straight into this. Um, I was watching these um, ADHD TikToks, and there are things on there that I definitely do. Like one of the ones that she says is um, uh, about leaving messages unread as a reminder to go back and look at them later. The same thing. Yeah, I, I do. I, I do, do that with emails. I do the emails and tabs. So I'll have like I'll have like six hundred oh million tabs open because yeah. I, I need them all because I'm gonna go back and check them tabs later, <laughs> and I'm gonna. The reality is, after six months, I'll eventually close them, but I have to realize I'm not gonna look at them. There's no way I'm gonna look at it. And if you go on my phone now, actually, I will say on my phone, I'm doing really good. Yeah, um, I I have maybe I got thirty nine. Thirty nine unread messages. What tags, is that? 30... Tabs. Uh, Thirty nine tabs oh, right. on my Chrome, on uh, for uh, tabs. You know, internet tabs. I think my. I don't know. I I used to be so bad. I downloaded an extension that would group the tabs that I have open because there'd be so many of them. I'd have to have like sections for the different tabs, and yeah, it got quite bad that there. And also, like with the unread messages uh, on WhatsApp, I've got about twenty people that I need to reply to. So, if you're one of them, twenty mm -hmm. people, I apologise. I will get round to it at some point. Just when are my energy levels are there? <laughs> my, uh, I, I do have comments that I would like to to where I kind of briefly saw it while I was busy. Uh, I'm like, no, I need to get back to this guy. 
with but the comments on the on YouTube, I can't really mark it. I can't really, you know, just it just sucks. You know, so some people don't get response. Um, I, so but, I do uh, it on especially on, on the. Do you do it on on like Instagram and stuff like that? Where like I feel like someone's messaged me or like they've emailed me. I I feel like I don't know that they, they deserve a proper response. They deserve me sitting down at my computer, actually typing out something heartfelt and meaningful. I'm like, oh, I'll say this and I'll say that. I'll do it when I get back on my computer. I'll do it tonight, some at some point. And I don't. And like after three months, I'm like, I just can't ever talk to that person again. I've now <laughs> what um, could have been a root. Ru- I also as well, by the way, this is really bad. I don't, should I admit this? I um, Probably not. Oh, t- t- I'll tell you what, I, there's, a, there's a bit of a backstory to this. So, actually, I'm, I'm now with Caterite, um, doing like what? vans and trucks and stuff like that. It's basically, it's like like delivering like food to hotels. But okay. with, with um, it, I will say, I don't love the job. It's not my favorite job I've ever had. However, I do get a lot of time kind of behind the wheel, just kind of sitting, just listening to podcasts, stuff like that. And I do like the hours. So I'm finishing at like like 12, 1, 2 o'clock. Um, there's some days where I'm finishing like at 3, 4 o'clock, but most days I'm finishing at like, like 1, 2 o'clock realistically. So I have, um, I have, I have something. Um, I looked it up. It's called Free time and in this free time you can do stuff that's not like you know work wait it's, it's really weird is, is yeah, there other I, words is there is this is it everybody called it this who have who heard I don't of know. it it's, 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 is there, is there another word new. for it I, I believe it's swedish um <laughs> ah the swedes that makes uh, so, yeah yeah um, gotcha. I will say, so just for a second, Nessa is kind of here, but she's in the chat. She says that she's done 71 hours this week. I have actually been doing some decent hours. Um, so I like, I've done, I've done over 60 hours each oh, week yeah. still. And I that, suppose I never finishing. mentioned, I, I haven't, I haven't fired anybody, by the way, just in case I, I did say. Oh yeah, oh, shit, yeah. Everybody. we should probably clarify <laughs> and then that. I that. So that was a joke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chloe is uh, uh Chloe's uh, getting drunk right now. So uh, at a at an office party, I think office as party. Opposed, yeah. She's all as opposed up. to getting drunk on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but I say she's going to be getting properly drunk now. Hopefully, she She'll may get home in time to where to where she can um, uh, say hello at the end of the podcast. Maybe, maybe oh not. God, you have to. Uh, we have a drunk in. Chloe video. I don't. Yeah, well, we've had many of those. That could be our bonus content at the end of the video. Yeah, Nessa, uh, go ahead and uh, get try try get Chloe to come home early, or at least have her tap in and give uh, her yeah, the link. Yeah, Nessa, we, we need link. we need a video from Chloe looking all like <laughs> all like beautiful and tidied up and stuff, and like saying something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, and Nessa's uh, cat ate her Ethernet cable, so uh, her delay was hilariously. Uh, <laughs> was it was like a seven second delay. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> not was, more. It was really bad. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you're you're stuck with me and Tom, just like it used to be when it comes to uh, when you got stuck with Tom and Chris. Where it was yeah, just, honestly, uh, this feels it feels very old school. This it feels like properly old school. <laughs> I like it. Um, I, I I my biggest problem right now is like you're talking, and I'm like I usually rely on Chloe to go ahead and um and do the uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Oh uh-huh. shit! Yeah. Now that's my fucking job. Now shite. <laughs> now you have to laugh uh, to laugh at all of the shit jokes that I make. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> oh, I can't just like kind of like sit back and just smile. Oh, there has to be some audible uh, <laughs> laughter going on. Well, maybe I'll do that in post. <laughs> I but, uh, just very quickly, we've we've gone so many tangents deep. I can't remember what the original thing I was talking about. But I don't think there was a thing you were talking about. There wasn't. There was. I was going somewhere with this, but basically. Because of Caterite, because of the hours that I do, I have decided... Oh, I know where I was going with this. I decided that I was going to... Uh, I... So do you remember I, I talked about um, that that really bad crash? Um, where the one with the, with the broken neck? Too. That one, yeah. that one. The there. one where you called yourself a hero. Yeah. I definitely did not call myself a hero for that one there. Um, for real? I, Don't you... The, the, the bloody <laughs> the title was called, you being called a hero, and the no, intro no, no, was not, you calling no, not, yourself a hero. Not, not for that one. The... There, not for that. One. <laughs> I'll be honest, with you, I I I, so oh, I held a lot of 
I held a lot of guilt for that uh, for a long time. Like, it, it, did it, you? It, really ate me up like wait no, is this is this the bike one or is this is this no, the, no, no, no. This, this, this side is, of the road this is another one this is uh oh shit no no this this is this is a this is a car crash this one with a broken neck okay. this is uh, this is one i haven't really spoken about much but basically it was I think bad. I know and i i held i basically had a lot of guilt about it and i've been wanting to do something productive i've been wanting to do something so i've been looking to become a cfr so a community first responder and basically doing voluntary voluntary work with it, um, but it's quite. There's not many places to get into the CFR program, and I've not been able to. Like I've, I've not really had a lot of headway with it. Okay. And plus, well, I don't really have a lot of time to give towards it. And I just happened to start speaking with a guy who runs West Cumbria Search and Rescue, and so last week I went to go and see him. Um, I last last Wednesday. We're going back again this week, and we're going to see like where it goes. And I'm look hopefully, like me and Kale are both going to be joining like uh, search and rescue. And like it's going to be like fucking. Well, they ace, definitely like, like, could definitely like, use the person to your height who you can see into places that a lot yeah. of people can't. You know, thanks, mate. So, I, I appreciate yeah, that. The no, like, only it. thing I'm I'm providing is just my height. I I appreciate that. Um, yeah, but, <laughs> and a ladder could deep. replace you too, I suppose. What a dick. Holy fuck. Is this the energy you're bringing tonight? I love it. <laughs> um, well, no, I, so I'm, I've had to do what's called a DBS check or DVS, DBS check. It's like a, basically, it's like a check to see Are like. You English and your abbreviations. Oh, we love it. We love it. D, someone's put in the chat DBS. Uh, it's like a, um, it's, it's like basically like check to see if you're like a criminal, a criminal. Um, so don't get that joke. Um, a criminal and, and a criminal. A, cri- a, cri- a cri- criminal, criminal. Anyone? Burnt face man. It's a, it's, it's a like fucking Jesus Christ. It is it, that. That's from a like a two thousands like flash video. Fucking love it. But just search burnt face man after this. Okay. Anyways, we'll do. <laughs> to digress. To get to the actual original point of it. So I've gone to go and do a DBS check and I've realized my license, I've not updated the address and I have not updated the address in quite a while. And I believe, I believe you have to do it within like a month or something. It's been way more than a month, like way, way, way more than a month. And yeah, so I've had to go and update all of that. And I also think my V5 document might be not updated either. So yeah, I will this is all going over done. my head, by the way. Basically, yeah. like, you know, you hopefully could, you you're know, talking you're like, to the people now at this point and not talking well, to me. <laughs> do you know like, your, your car is like registered somewhere? So like, you know, somewhere you, you, as like, in like you know, it's registered you, in England. Well, no, yeah, well, yeah, but like, you know, your car's got a like, registration document. It'll have registration documents, won't it? Say that like, this, this yeah, car in, in belongs at this address or. And he's owned yeah, by yeah, 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 yeah. X person. Basically, that hasn't been updated. Usually, the bank. My other thing. What do you have to wait? The bank. Yeah, I mean, the bank owns the car till they give you the do- till you get the uh, the title until you own it. Uh, you know, I mean, again, but yeah, it's still registered. Really? Address, whatever. Yeah. Well, obviously, the bank has the title. Why would you have the title? Because if you have a loan, if you have a loan yeah. out in a vehicle, you're not going to have the title. The yeah, bank will have do. a title because they're the one who owns it. They don't. I own the. I own the car. Do you? Well, if you if you're making payments on it, you don't own it. I don't. Wait. Do I not own my car? Do you, have you paid it out in full? Have a fuck. Do you make payments? How much money do you think I've got? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Do, are you make? Do, I, you, do you make? Do you make monthly payments? Yeah, towards I make the a monthly car? payment. Yeah. Wait, yeah, then what you the don't fuck? Own the, car. the bank owns the How? car. What, so they can just come and use my car? Yeah, they have a set of keys. <laughs> you know, what? but you know what I mean, though. Like, you obviously don't own it. Okay, you right if you now? buy... It belongs... Yeah, is this... I'm not fuck. How could you possibly Holy own it? You, you, you just, They gave you permission I... to drive that car yeah, but until I've you loaned money off have them. made... Is that not how it works? <laughs> Am I learning how life works right now? Do what you do fuck? you have the do, do you, whoever has the title and whoever has the title in the possession owns the car? Why have the title? Do you really? 
I've got a V5 document. What's that? That must be. A I don't know. I, I honestly, got, I've, no, I've no idea. We don't get the title of a car until the, until the right. actual. Can somebody in the chat helps out the title again? It might it's... be just different. You might have a copy oh, of the title. Someone just put it... up saying V5 doesn't prove ownership. <laughs> I don't own my car. <laughs> what the fuck? How am I only just learning this now? Oh yeah, shit. So... But yeah, anyway, same thing with a house. You know what I mean? If you're making mortgage payments, you don't own a house. I, I, I always feel bad saying I own a house. I don't own a house. I own like 5% of a house. All right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, the bank owns the rest of it. And they can take that house away from me. All right. If oh, I don't that's make why they payments. have like all of like the foreclosures in America. Like lots of them, isn't there? Because the bank, it's the bank's house. They can just do whatever the fuck they want, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of times they just sell it for whatever is left uh, owed on it. So sometimes you could buy a house for really cheap, you know. Uh, so yeah, but, I don't know what but the, if you uh, if you're buying a house for really the cheap, are that, would you not feel a bit like a bit shit? I know, right? I was thinking the same thing. As like, if I ended up like, if he only if we only had like twenty five percent left to, left to pay it off, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. then I come around and sneak it underneath for for a hundred thousand dollars, I would feel a little shitty. Yeah. But you never know what you're getting. There, there's a lot of people out there. I don't know who does this. You, but where they know they're going, they're getting fucked, and so they'll just destroy the house, you know. <laughs> and because uh, a lot of times you buy the house as is, you, they're, 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 the bank's not going to fix it up. It's like, yeah, you can you can buy it, you know. You can, I'm sure that you can see inside it before you buy it. But I, uh, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 it's it's crazy to me. To do the one that I watch on, I, I watch him on TikTok a bit. Uh, and he's. I tried. I did actually try to get him on. And I can't for the life of me think what his name is. But he does. Um, he does like. A, he has a tow Mark business. No, uh, not no, not right. Mark Rubber. Fuck me. Could you imagine <laughs> Mark Rubber came on this podcast? It'd be amazing. Um, no, it's it basically just be. like we'd be scared out of like, our fucking wits. <laughs> I, I would, honestly wouldn't even know what to say. Fucking guy, such a legend. Um, no, this, this guy like does like tow trucks. He's got like a tow truck business, and like he tows I cars tow away that I've got. Um, I've got like no payments. Basically, what we're talking about now, where yeah. basically like they they have mm-hmm. like, not been able to pay. And there's something really fascinating about like how because what they do is they'll have like a spotter that'll go and like say, um, like yeah, repo person, and he'll like they'll so the spot will go out and we'll be like, oh, the car's here. You're gonna have to like you're gonna have to reverse in. And the, basically, the way that the way that way that he does it is, it's he's driving in. He'll um, like lower the fucking thing down, like the the lifty car bit, whatever that's called, and then he connects it all up. And he's in and out in like like seconds. Um, I I found him. I found him. He's called um, Eben Reed, and honestly, it's fucking like the, his his tow truck is amazing. It has this. It has this incredible like systems basically where the it's it's just like a it's like a i'm trying to explain this in a really good way but it's basically it reverses up to it and the it's got like a clip that comes around the wheels and lifts it up yeah i can't really explain honestly the way it works but it's the accuracy in which he does it because he's oh yeah they, exactly they stop for like on. they basically they're backing up while the the, the clamp yes. Ish yes. thing, and then the ba- and it just the lifts up immediately, for, and they're you. gone. Yeah, so yeah, it's they're probably only stopped for maybe a second, maybe it, two uh, seconds. It's, it's unbelievable. Where the, it, the it's, truck is, it's actually, a, yeah, it's as fast I, I think as I have a beef. Thing. I have a huge beef with tow truck drivers. All right, what kind of person do you have to be? Because basically, I think sometimes I feel like they get their jollies out of fucking taking a car away from someone who can't make payments. They can't make well, payments because they're probably not in the best position point. in life. This, so this is my point. I'm I'm getting pleasure out of the skill of this person. Yeah. But at the same time, as like everyone's commenting about like how incredible like he is, that's someone's life potentially that got ruined. Now, don't get me wrong. There is, there are some videos which I will watch and I'll be happily watching because they'll have like a Range Rover. And if I'm honest with you, if you've got a Range Rover and you're getting it towed, mm, I don't know. I'm I get you. Maybe not. I, yeah. I, I, get, I get you. I get you. I get yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, but like, if it's like a basic. Some car. people. The thing is, here's the thing. Some people have a Range Rover and they've just 
are easily convinced to buy stuff. Like they probably went in for a bloody mini and they came out with a Land Rover because they just yeah. they weren't they weren't strong enough to say no. And like I don't know, that happens to people all the time. It's happened to me, you know, where I where I just really you know where, like my current my current vehicle. I no does I love my vehicle. I love it, but I paid too much for it. I paid sticker price for it. All right. I uh I couldn't negotiate it down. I now my wife, well my girlfriend at the time, she was there, but I was desperate for a vehicle because my car just broke down. My other one. I like I I ran it down to down to the ground, you know. So I like I did exactly what I bought it to do and I never upgraded till it was broken where but beyond uh fixing. But yes, my wife was hungry and I felt rushed. <laughs> <laughs> as she mentions in the comments. So I felt a little rushed, but I really wanted it, but I didn't know how to say no. But I was like, but I really want this one, though. Uh, were we there for six hours? I don't know if I remember being there for six hours, but... Uh... <laughs> you, you ain't getting out of this one, lad. But, um, but again, we, but again, it was just like, he just said no. You know, he, the, 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 the salesman, like, uh, can you go a little less? And he said no. I'm like, oh... <laughs> you know there was no like all right bye bye we'll see you later no there was yeah. none of that which i could have easily have done because i've yeah, done that before yeah. you know what i mean uh usually i like to bring some muscle with me when i buy a car like the car i bought you, before before this one you did I, you had your missus no well yeah great muscle there in that one um i'm surprised we didn't pay more than the sticker price <laughs> love you baby <laughs> no, you're getting back later <laughs> uh but the car i got but the car i bought before that um I knew I needed muscle, so I asked my uh, my ex brother in law to come in, and I he came in powerful too. Uh, like first of all, yeah. I'm like, dude, dickhead, will you shut the fuck up? I'm gonna we're gonna lose this all together, you know. Like where he was just like, no, nope. I'm like uh, David, no, you don't get it. You brought me for a reason, all right. You don't even get a say in this one, all right. We're not <laughs> we're out of walking out of here without this vehicle that he really wants, and but he gave me all the power to say yes and no. And yeah. oh yeah, he saved me thousands of dollars. He really did. He was an asshole. I I hated him, but I ended up loving him. You know. But if, I yeah. felt so uncomfortable. I really felt so. I was like, okay, you know, just I don't know. I just felt because <laughs> I wasn't in, I wasn't big into in, in, into buying vehicles like that. You know, or any vehicle at all, really. To be, you know. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I um, um I, I I I find that I'm I'm not good at. In, in them situations where you have to, where, where it, it's so awkward, you don't feel like you can say no to the person. Um, like we, we had it this week where uh, we had a friend come round, and or one of Kale's friends, and we were supposed to go out for something to eat, and I'd come up with a cunning plan to basically say, "Oh, well, we can't I'm go cunning. there. It's fr- it's Friday evening." So that's 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 my kind of get out thing. So, so Friday evening we can't really go there, and then there was a suggestion made. Well, why don't we go somewhere closer? I was like, shit. Well, I can't really say no because what we wanted to do is we wanted to go home, eat cereal, and watch Doctor Who. That's what we wanted to do. We don't. We didn't want to be. We didn't want to be social. But I, I, I feel like I can't say no. So we went. To, we went to a place. And we were like, oh, fuck, we're now going to spend money. We, were, we and Kay were looking at each other and we're like, we're now going to spend like 30, 40 quid because we cannot say no to another human being because we're too awkward to say that. It's it's too mm-hmm. much to say no to a person. I, I don't know if you're a fighter. Like, it, it's, like, it, it, again, we've talked about this with like the like the hairdressers and stuff like that where you, you feel the, the only time that I've ever said like, no, I don't like this. I've gone out with shit haircuts before where I've gone. I've I've once got a haircut and then had to go to another place to get another haircut because I like, hated the first yeah. one so much. And I couldn't say to the person, I don't like this. The, the, my beard was the first time I've actually turned around and gone, this is shit. You have fucked up. I wanted to, I wanted to say that to that guy, that, that guy as well who, <laughs> who just didn't do a good job. I really wanted to say it to him. Like, yeah. Why did you... Just why, you know what I mean? It's the fact yeah. that I couldn't actually see as well. That that's the th- that's the thing that actually pissed me off the most. Is that like, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to wait till the fucking end to see what I fucking look like. <laughs> oh. But you know, yeah, sorry, yeah. No, I, but I hear you. I, you know, I, I hear you. There's a lot of times where you're just uh, you're so 
it's not the worst thing in the world. I can, t- you gotta, you gotta like, weigh it out. Okay, do I put this? Do, do I put myself and him in an awkward position, or do I just get another haircut from somewhere else? <laughs> you know, but you know, I it's will just spend like, my it, hard-earned you know I mean? money rather than say something uh-huh. to this person contemplating. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, there is sometimes there there is sometimes when I'm like, I'd be the Karen. I, I, I've made my wife uncomfortable sometimes in some, in some situations. All right, where she's no, she it's gotten better, but she at when we first got together, there was zero confrontation with any possibility whatsoever. There was just what it felt like. All right, so like yeah. I was at a we were at, we were we were at a, we were at a casino and there was a sushi restaurant, and um, so there was like I don't know like five or six friends with us. And we're all sitting at the bar, basically waiting for. And we all we all ordered at the exact same time. We all 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 different meals and all that kind of stuff. And everyone everyone gets their meal. Everyone gets their meal. My wife gets her meal. I'm just I, I'm still waiting. I'm like okay. I'm but I'm I'm very but polite. Obviously, like, don't ever go. Don't, 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 uh, and obviously, if 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 they wait, your food's going to go cold, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I but I have a few friends who will, will not eat. When, until everybody gets their meal out and everything, right? That was a but joke. I, uh, so because you're waiting, oh, because it's it, cold. It was, well, some, no, there's a lot of there's a lot of hot meals. I actually prefer the hot I... stuff. I prefer the hot stuff. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I thought it's actually quite a lot of hot sushi. Joke. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it was to some people. <laughs> I just, yeah. But uh, anyway, sorry, Tom. But <laughs> I. Didn't, I didn't get my meal, and they, they said they kept saying it's on its way. I'm like, okay, but I, again, just remember now, I'm, I actually am being very nice, all right, because yeah. I'm still trying to like you know score points with the girlfriend at the time, you know, where I didn't want to be uncomfortable, you know, but, you know, but I, so I just said, you know, everyone's finished at this point. Now I've been nibbling on her food because I am actually absolutely starving, and then the server came out and said, oh by the way, this is VIP, make sure this gets out right away. I'm like, okay, so I guess I'm getting pushed. And it was like an insult, like the fact yeah. that I got to hear overhear this i'm like uh sorry dude i'm like uh i'm done i'm done i can't do this anymore <laughs> i'm like i'm seriously waiting yeah. for my food w- what'd you order like does it matter i'm like all my friends yeah. have finished their food i don't want to have to scarf down my bloody food you know what i mean yeah, yeah. as in yeah. like so I'm like can we i'm just just can we get get the check please and can we go i'm like i'm just i'm not waiting you know but you know like so there wasn't much, that much confrontation on, you know what I mean? But I, like, he did say, like, all right, by the way, your drinks and your meal uh, for your wife is, 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 is free and all that. I'm like, that's fine, whatever. Again, I didn't care. I wanted food. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I, I really wanted food. But again, with the point was, as in like, uh, as in like, it was just, I wasn't being a Karen, but I was being what a lot of the restaurant industry would. I'm like, I'm not waiting anymore for my food. Where is my food? You know what I mean? As in like, uh, they'll, they'll spin it off that I'm the bad guy, I'm sure, somehow. But uh, but now, you know, but, but there was in, a little in that confrontation. But but in that situation, now you're now you're left with the problem that you're now hungry. Fair enough, you've got a free meal, but you now need to eat, and everyone else wants to go and do the next thing of the evening. So now you've got to go mm. and visit a takeaway and shovel some food in while I did. everyone's watching. On the way home, we had to get we had to, we had to get. <laughs> but on the way home, we did have to get some food though because I was still yeah. hungry. And <laughs> and you but, have to. Uh, everyone's uh, going to watch you eat while you sat there, and then you have to do that awkward thing of like, do you have to offer them food? Should you offer them chips? Because <laughs> as far as I'm aware, these these fucking know, chips right? are mine. Yeah, like absolutely. Like keep off my fucking chips, you bitch. <laughs> oh, but fucking confrontation though. I, there's sometimes I. I crave it. Sometimes I'll avoid it like the plague. It, it was, it's, I don't know. It, it depends on the person you're, the, 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 where it's happening to, too. Like, I think I was, I think I've gotten better. I really was, you know, like, a, uh, like I used to go, I used to start going to restaurants till uh, I came to America. Like I'd have to, I go to fast food and all that kind of thing in Ireland. But when I came to America, we used to go to restaurants all the time. But my, uh, my ex-wife, she was, she was a Karen. She really was. So I kind of fed off of her and how she talked to the staff, you know, and uh, where it was, you know, there was an expectation of like, uh, you know, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't the greatest. It wasn't the worst, but it, it wasn't the greatest. So I'm like, oh, this is how you talk to staff. 
our staff are scum and I get to talk to scum however way I like. Okay, cool. Which wasn't, again, it wasn't that bad, but uh, ever, but my beautiful wife, though, thank you for her so much for her to be coming into my life. Not thank you, Tom, but thanking the world in general, because because she really, yeah, yeah, no, she really, uh, she really, what what is that word where you, you have empathy? She has given me so much empathy that I'm so grateful for. Sometimes it sucks to have empathy. I'm like, oh, I used to give a shit about that, but now I do. God damn it. I hate giving a shit about people sometimes. Ugh. But uh, yeah. So anyway, but uh, that's it. No, I, I, <laughs> that I, don't, I, I, I don't know if it is it or is it kind of, is it the fact I'm that not you're going anywhere. older Keep now? Going. Keep talking. Wait, wait, what are you doing, David? What are you doing? I'm getting a, I get, oh my God. I, I would have been fine if it doesn't say anything, wouldn't I? I'm getting another beer. He All fucking right. hates it. He hates it every time I do it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy. I love fucking. At least I made the beer. At least I made the fridge closer to the microphone. All right. <laughs> Wait. So do you have like a fridge by you? Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's like I can touch it right now. But I again, he still have to open it, and then I have to even get put my hand even inside. Yeah. I was going to text my wife to can. Can you come to my fridge, please, and, uh, <laughs> and grab, can, grab me a beer? Can I get maid <laughs> service in here, please? <laughs> I um. Oh. oh, go on. I was going to read what, what my wife was saying on the thing. Um, he asked me every time to stand up when we're. Oh yeah! <laughs> every time my wife, I don't know what they're talking about in the chat, but every time my uh, my wife stands up from the couch from anywhere, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> like, I, <don't> <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm probably, I'm probably given her a complex to where I'm like I just want to get up and grab this thing over here. I just don't want to have a conversation about. It. Are you quite? Why are you quite a needy person? My... I, I need you I'm... to not bring that up, okay? <laughs> but I, 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 I am, an, I am definitely a needy person. I, I don't know. I just Uh needy. I just, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if I'm. Am I needy? Actually, wife, tell me, am I a needy person? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it. needy. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's not. Not what. I, so for me, I can't. I the idea of sitting on the other sofa away from from my kid Macy's. I just I don't know. I have to be sat next to her. I have to be, have like I have to have at least something touching her because apparently I'm yeah just a needy sort of person. I I sat next to my wife yesterday. Really, I, I think I was showing her some. Something on the phone, some pictures I took of the kid. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was showing some pictures on my phone. And uh, I sat there for a little longer than we normally, than I normally do. I'm like, God, this is actually kind of weird. We're usually the, the opposite side of the couch. <laughs> where Because that way we really? have room to stick our... <laughs> that way we can, that we can lay out properly and we'll stretch out without, you know, I don't know. I, we love each other. It's just, uh, it was. It, I just. I just noticed it. Like I had. My, I had my hand on. Her, I had my hand. Hand on her. On her lap and everything. And it was just. Uh, yeah, we're past the honeymoon phase. By the way, you're still in the honeymoon phase. We're seven years into this. Again, there's people out there that are oh. like twenty years. But because uh... <laughs> yeah. well, we've been talking about this like a little bit. Because how long is like is the honeymoon phase supposed to last for? Because it's been over two years now. I don't know. Um, the honeymoon period really rap—I wouldn't say rapidly—came down with when, when the kids came in. Just quickly, I just have to direct when the kids you to, the, to a comment, and it is what fucking is hideous, now? and it's from Phil. I don't think we can read it out. Just read that that one, Which the one? second one up uh, on the second one, I have to. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> we can't make that joke on the podcast. Um, if you're watching on you YouTube, know you can read it. <laughs> yeah, on YouTube, you can read it. Holy <laughs> fuck! Yeah, well, I don't think we can read that one on uh, on podcast. You just have to let your imagination. There was a comment. Some made a joke. It is wild. There we go. Uh, some of the advantages of actually being on YouTube. Uh, that would be YouTube.com. Please watch us on YouTube. Just you another trucking podcast. Yeah, all we need is like 400 more subscribers and we can get paid. We can bring in the big bucks. Yeah. We'll probably be making $5 a week. Honestly, God, oh. dude, seriously, we could be making five our own $5 a week. Honestly, yeah, there we go. Um, $5 what? Yeah. <laughs> so you can buy like a pack of sweets with that now. God, shit is so expensive. We could, 
no, actually, we wouldn't be able to take that out for until it reaches like a hundred dollars. <laughs> right. We can't just take five dollars out, so we'd have so, to like wait a year before we can spend it. I um, I just need to read one one comment out in the uh, in the chat. Oh, very very quickly, if, we're, if you're wondering what we're talking about, chat. So we have a um, all of our Patreon peeps. Um, if you are subscribed to Patreon, you can come and join us live and kind of interact with the podcast and kind of like let us little uh, know little things and we might read stuff out and yeah. Um, so that's the perk of the Patreon. If you want to, there'll be details on how to join Patreon uh, towards the end. Um, but Neil says um, apparently we're going to be doing that years after in. the that music. Is absolutely delightful. After the music, yeah, there's going to be like we're, we're restructuring ish. Yeah, Tom shows up uh, once a week and destroys everything, all the plans uh, <laughs> that we. we... I, I truly am like I'm Tom. I'm in. the main host of the show. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them. Um, fuck, I've gone so, so far into the dungeon. I can't remember where we were. How many levels? We're talking. We're, we were no. We, well, there is no levels. It is. We're again. I want to remind people about this. Okay, all right. You guys are just lucky enough to be eavesdropping on a conversation at, that, that me and Tom are having. That is all it is. <laughs> you know, uh, we're just two guys. Well, in a in a social situation, just having a laugh and uh, taking yeah, a piss and out we have each other. Taking a piss. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. Yeah. Uh, Always yes, patrons. Place. Again, just a reminder. Yes, the patrons. We, we we absolutely love the patrons. We need to be better though. Um, and, uh, we 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 have Discord where we can chat with everybody in the Discord, and of course, obviously, we have the live chat, and uh, we have the uh, the post show. Again, a reminder: the post show goes on can can go on for quite a long time. <laughs> oh my god! For, yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be like well, one time it was actually it was actually longer than the show itself. We just kept going. We were just having too much fun. Uh, did, so you yeah. can only get you can only yeah we you can only sometimes only last ten minutes, but sometimes it lasts over an hour. But yeah, you can, that's just something that you can actually do on uh, on on the actual the Patreon page. But anyway, so uh, sometimes we do get distracted with the comments, and so because sometimes the people who are actually in the comments are more entertaining than the two of us. So we have to give credit or, or where squirrel credit is due. Out the window. <laughs> a squirrel yeah. out the window. Yeah, we, we're talking about you. Like, oh, you yeah, 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 me, yeah. yeah. Squirrel. I actually have seen a few squirrels. I, I, okay. I, I did, obviously, I didn't mention it, but I have seen a few squirrels. That was just kind of funny right now. I'm going to be looking for squirrels now to see yellow them. But anyway, you were saying, Tom, because I can't fucking remember. <laughs> Neither can I. What the fuck? Where, where, where were you up to? <laughs> It's like you just it's like you casually me. just like decided like hold on I can't remember what we're going so let's talk about the patrons and YouTube and oh, oh yeah again awkward conversations that you've had throughout uh whatever is it better to to uh confront somebody or just pay for another haircut <laughs> but I'm sure that was a tangent Appar- I'm apparently, one. <laughs> apparently it's better to pay for another haircut cuz that that is the best way um, that is very but confrontation though, but as in like, have you ever been good at it? Have you ever been like uh, where there's sometimes you just feel like you, oh what, it doesn't matter who's videotaping this right now, I'm in the right, and that's what a lot of times people will why they confront. But on now, uh, now me and Tom, we we frequent a certain uh, news internet news show called Federico Franco, and he brought up lately there was this woman in um in Chipotle. Chipotle is a, basically a, mes- a Mexican restaurant, and she wasn't getting the meal looking correctly all right now she it just didn't look right to her she was like and she kept on getting it remade and at the very end she just yelled at the manager who was i think was the person who was actually making it and she threw the food into uh on in in the face of the of, of the cashier of the manager you know and then just stormed out and again the person that was with her it was basically like, "What are you doing?" What are you, like, uh, but but she actually got arrested. Now, do you know the do you know the top I'm I'm talking about, Tom? I do, I do, yeah, yeah. I don't know the full. Yeah, names so so about. basically, uh, that person went to jail. Well, went, well, went to court, and the judge gave her, I think, six months. Oh yes, uh, in jail. yes, I know but this then, one. But then he decided, and like, you know, hold on a second, hold on. Are you can do? Are you can walk six months? in uh your your victim's shoes basically you have to work six months in a fast food industry just to know what it's like to work in a 
and just to right, deal okay. with customers I, like you. I have a question for you. Right. So do you know how like um like Russia and Israel and place like that, they've got this um it, it's like a conscription where basically when you join like when you turn eighteen, you legally have to join the military. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um South Korea so does it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you, you've got to like you've got to join the military, and you've got to go and like, get. I didn't know it was experience. Russia, but anyway, okay. I'm sure Russia does it. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I've no idea. I, I again, know. I just don't know. There, I, have there no are, idea. I just, I just know that that's, that's South Korea does it. Yeah, and I, I know there's there's like a lot of countries that um, that make you like join the military. Should I have no beef we, with that, by the way. I, but should we <laughs> legally have the same thing? But for like restaurants, where you have to work in a restaurant, everyone has or to work in a restaurant. Or you can't go to a restaurant until you know what it's like first. Yes, as, as I have worked. Ooh. Basically, Ooh, yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. You so that like would be that would be license. your punishment. Yes. And yeah, then that there way, we go. There we go. I like yeah. it. Yeah. How many restaurants do you work for? I I, I work for a couple of restaurants. Uh, the I I was fine. I didn't. I wasn't that bothered. The only time was someone did that. And I'm like, oh. uh, my, immediate, my, my immediate reaction was, <laughs> I'm going to break your fingers. You do that to me one more time, I'm going to break fingers. Um, I remember we had someone from, because I worked in this Japanese restaurant. It was a Japanese teppanyaki restaurant. Oh, um, and it was... I, <laughs> Just to remind saying, everybody of Tom's height. Now, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Well, and so there was no one actually, there was no one Japanese there um, oh. for a Japanese restaurant. It was owned by Scousers. Um, oh right, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was owned by Scousers. The manager was from Hong Kong. The chefs were Filipino. Uh, there was no one Japanese there at all. I, I there was nothing apart from I think we had Japanese beer, and that was but, and Japanese a, food about it. Yeah, that was about the only thing and the name of it. Um, but the one thing I did Japanese notice inspired food. I don't know. I mean, it was it was very good food. Like, but one thing I had noticed this one time was um, I, I was in the office and I did notice that there were a lot more guests written down than what we had the night before. A lot more guests. Ah, so there's some uh, money we, laundering. We were on. we were okay. fully booked according according to the books. Uh-huh. Like. Fully booked, and I, I was there that night, and I don't remember it being fully booked. In fact, I remember it being quarter, quarter the amount of people. The upstairs wasn't being used at all. Don't think it was fully booked, but yeah. And um, but it was, we used to get um, we, we we used to get like footballers coming in. Like there was like this VIP room where they had like a private chef come in and like do like all the full tep and yaki in front of them. Fuck me. They were fucking. Oh, they just spoke to you like shit, and I'm just like, I, I don't know. I I don't I don't get this like thing of like I understand that. I I I understand that there is a kind of hierarchy, and mm-hmm. obviously this person is my boss because he owns the company, and that's fine. That that guy's not better than me. We are all equally shit. And, you know, just because you've got like a fancy okay. car and this and that and the other, does may not mean that you're better than me. And Did it you ever tell him really that? Annoy me. No. You should have. See what, see what the answer would have been. I'd be, I, I think I'd have been killed. I think I, yeah. I, I think I'm pretty sure. Like, so, okay, so this is fucking. Right, I'll, t- I'll tell you this story. This is so very illegal. And I was, I was, uh, what is it when you? Okay. Is it com- is it complicit in a crime? Um, go on. So there was this, there, yeah. there was this lad. So I, I kind of did all I, a lot of jobs, and we'd been upgrading Squirrel. the. Te- <laughs> you want to see we, it? We've been... every, every, look, look, look seriously. It's right. Is it there. actually? <laughs> wait, is it genuinely a squirrel? Uh, look, look, there he is. He's underneath Holy the fuck. shadow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I won't do that again. I just <laughs> so <laughs> the, 
this this is this is one of the sketchiest stories I fucking. So we were we were upgrading the teppanyaki um, tables because they weren't getting hot enough, and it's like they all needed like at least this special type of insulation putting them. So I help. I was helping him out because obviously I was cheap labor, and I kind of I was willing to kind of get stuck in and do whatever. So I was helping him out. And we, this was like a, at about like five in the morning. Um, he said. Oh, we need to go and get a part. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. So where are we going to go? He goes, oh, we need to go to Liverpool. And this, like, we how, were in How far away is this? So okay. this is like, that's I don't close. know. It's it's no. It's like I know. I should know like that. that. And okay. and so we had to go and get this part from from Liverpool. And just pointing out, <laughs> this guy that I've been doing stuff with, he had been doing cocaine all night. You all witnessed night. him do cocaine. Oh, he was doing it in front of me. He was doing lines. He offered it to me several times. And I was like, I had to... See, the thing was, I was trying to be cool, but I was also like, mm, no, that's not really my jam, that. Uh, don't wrong. I, I will admit, uh, in my youth, I have partaked in some some interesting things i've i've lived however that's which will not be another topic them. okay which will be i'm sure it might be at some later. point there's there's i've got a kind of hard line of where i'm like no that gets no that's not where that's not my jam i'm not into that shit but that's fine if he is that's fine that's on him i i all all power to him that's what he likes doing but for me it's not by the time it gets to england it's probably flower probably yeah probably like 90 percent of it um <laughs> Well, let's be honest here. We live, live in Liverpool, probably not. Probably like as, as pure as it comes, coming straight in really? off the submarines, whatever. I, I honestly, it's it's a big thing there. But anyways, so we've been doing it all night, and we, I decided that I was going to get in a car with him and drive to Liverpool. And it did occur to me halfway along, like this guy is not in a condition to drive. But anyways, so, so we're going to get this part, going to get this part, and we turn into this council estate. And I'm like, I, am I? I start getting a bit like, oh, shit. This is not looking good. This is not looking good anyways. Um, so we turn up at this fucking sketchy house. And he goes, um, have you got the part? I'm like, what part could possibly be here for like a teppanyaki table? And he hands him the biggest fucking package of white powder. Wow. And he hands it, and he just kind of, like, he's checking it in the street. And I'm like... <laughs> Wait, did he stick a knife? Did he stick a, a nice six-inch knife? I, and then just... Uh, <laughs> just, just, just no, it, there's none of, there was none of that, like, but uh, he was looking at it, and I'm like, I took a few steps back, and I'm like, oh, no, this feels like police are about to swarm us. And I, 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 was, I said to him, I'm going to go and wait in the van. I got in the van. I'm like, oh, my God. And then we got this package, and then we started heading back to Preston. And I was like, wait, have we just driven t- to Liverpool for cocaine? Um, am, I, am, I an, am I an accessory to a crime <laughs> And I was like, Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah, that was that was the last time I worked with that guy. He was really nice. He was lovely. However, oh, you quit the, the next day? Oh, no, no, I, I I didn't quit the restaurant. I was just like, I'm not helping that guy out. Um, that's I think I'm, I think I'm done. Did he at least give you out. a little, uh, I don't know, extra money? Just, you know, I think, it, I, you know extra? what? I think he might have done, and now that I think, now that I think about it, does that mean I am fully complicit in a crime? Oh, How do you shit. turn it down, though? You know, you're obviously not working for a Fortune 500 company. You know what I mean? So any penny counts. So when it's offered to you, how do you turn it down? <laughs> you know. But again, sometimes you feel like you're you're actually signing your name to a contract when you do I've when t- you do accept it. That you're I like told oh. you the, the Rome story. The Rome. The Rome story. Are you are you not going to talk about the Roman Empire? Are you? No, no, no. How no, often no, do no. you I... think about the Roman Empire? Honestly, more than you Sorry. think. More than I you actually think. Don't. <laughs> I don't think about the empire. So this is really, a really confusing thing when people are talking about the Roman Empire. Apparently, this is uh, something that men talk, men think about on a daily basis. It's not a daily I'm basis, a... but like, I do. Think why the about fuck it. would you talk? Why would you think about the Roman Empire? Why? It doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense at all. Well, no, but in fairness, though, I do. In the area that we're in, there's like Hadrian's Wall. There's like Roman forts everywhere. 
And like you see signs for them constantly. Okay. So I think I'm allowed to. In yeah. America, no, you're not allowed to. But in like in England, in North England especially, yeah, you are allowed to. When you're seeing like Roman bathhouse. So I feel a like Roman that. bathhouse? Yeah. You like obviously not fu- not fully functioning, but like the ruins of it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, um, England was part of the Roman Empire, says my wife. So that must be fact. Was. But whatever she oh, yeah. types is fact. By the way, yeah, yeah, I that's, that, that's completely true. It, it was right up until the wall, and then they were like, "Yeah, Scottish. We're gonna go ahead and leave them guys be. We tried to take the iron brew off them, and we got fucking shanked." And they were just like, yeah, we're not dealing with that. I don't know anything about history. I hated history so much. Well, that, that's, that, that's, that's why he built the... In. No, well, that, that's, why, that's why Hadrian built the wall. Because basically the, the, the Scottish like, had iron brew and the, the Romans wanted it. And so they tried to take over the iron brew factory and like the Scottish revolted and like, killed everyone. So they built a wall instead. Yeah, history. Yeah, I yeah, made all that up, David. Podcast, I fuck, it, yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's not, it, I have no idea. I, I would fucking <laughs> believe it. <it's> insane. <laughs> I have no idea. I would just go like, okay, yeah, yeah. Even Irish history. I, you know, I just, I always felt like Irish history was like the fucking worst history. I just, I couldn't. Was, and this is the so time boring. that we all died of famine. Um, I don't even understand completely about that. Ah. Oh. I'm so bad. Well, I just there, there were there were a fuck ton of potatoes. There were some potatoes. And there weren't. <laughs> and then there were again. And then they were like, like, then they were like potato cakes, or as they called in in Scotland, tatty scones. And if you don't call it a tatty scone, you get fucking. Because <laughs> I asked for one of it. Can I get one of the potato cakes? And the guy looked at me. So I mean, I've gone to a few like uh, the Scottish like you know breakfast bars by the side of the road, and I asked for a potato scone on them on my, uh, by the way, if you're going to get bacon, egg, hash brown, or bacon, egg, sausage, and stuff like that, get a tatty scone on it. <laughs> Fucking amazing. All Fucking right. amazing. Now rewind. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? So, so many tangents in at this point. Um, uh, you're a pure tree. <laughs> you know. Where the fuck were we? <laughs> we're trying, trying to refer back. Can I go back through the chat and work out where the fuck I was going with this? Oh yeah, Rome. Uh, uh, drugs. That, no, Rome. We were oh. talking about uh, talking Rome. About, yeah, and I asked about the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah. We, we got, we got. Which doesn't make any sense to me. Very quickly. Uh, that's um, my fault. There, my bad. <laughs> I, th- I'm, I feel like I might have told this story before, but I let's remind our new people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? So I, um, I used to, I used to do pub crawls in Rome. Oh, I used to live in Rome pub and. Crawls. Oh, fucking used to love it, mate. It was so much fun. It was. So, I love so pop crawls so much. You, obviously, you I go want to tell you about the pop crawls that I do at Christmas. Got it. Yeah, well, but we'd, we'd, well, basically this was like a kind of organised tours. So it's like I was on for I can't remember what the first one was, but then the second one was the Coliseum. But um, so I was on for the Coliseum uh, pub crawl, and oh, they're fucking lovely guys. But the season was kind of wrapping down and I was going to need to try and find That's something right. else. You were a tour make, guide. Work. I was. I did two I did tour guide. Like when I, was, I kind of saw the tours of the Vatican and there was this lad who, through the Colosseum pub crawl, had said to me uh, that if I wanted, he could get me some security work, like basically bouncing. I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do that. I figured... I'm a big lad, so that's probably the reason why it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And he said, well, why don't you come to my apartment? I live on Via del whatever it is, like Via del Castro. And so I turned up at this thing at this time. And I got in I got in there. And I remember it had like, it was like a big, it had a big living room. It was big, a big marble floor or like whatever the kind of, like maybe not marble, but kind of like that fake marble that they have in, in Rome. And he was sat on the sofa opposite, and there was a sofa, there was a table, and there was another sofa on my side, and there was some money on the table. And there wasn't really much else, it was quite a Spartan thing. And I got, I got, I kind of walk up to him, he, got, he, he sat down on the opposite, on this opposite thing, and he goes, I said, he sat on the sofa, he goes, I'll be honest with you, I, I have lied to you. They're, um, 
that there isn't actually a security job. I was like, okay, so why am I here? And he goes, I was wanting to pay to worship your feet. Oh, my God. And I was like, okay. Intrigued. And he said, like, okay. So he said, he said, I, um, <laughs> so he said, I was going to pay you 50 euros. And I just want to worship your feet. And like, so how I, does somebody worship a foot? Don't like, know. I, I, I'm, the way out. I'm picturing it is that their hands are going up and down and they're going, they're bowing and they're going forward. You know, but as in like, are just, touching them yeah i i feel like his cock will be between my toes at some point doing that worshiping i cannot imagine it's just worshiping i would imagine his cock would be entering something actually what size shoe do you have well i have a 15 which is probably the reason why because he had a foot fetish but anyways me being me i've made i've made a joke and i've said you don't want to worship my feet mate they smell and he looks at me and he goes no no that's better and i was like you know what? I I've got to go. I thank you. I'm gonna go, and I left. Did he offer you more? <laughs> he didn't offer you more. How much uh, would he have to have given you for you to go? Like, yeah, okay. Oh, or at I least no, not not right. not no, not just yeah, okay, but like, um, what's involved? You know in what I mean? Because... Where it's just you're on the fence, right? I what's involved in this because. I feel like if this guy's paying me money, I feel like I'm wiping off jizz off my feet. I don't know you mean to get crude, but I feel like that's where this is ending. Well, that's and why I... they invented soap and water. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let me ask you this question: What would your oh, limit? Shit, be? I was like, as soon as I, as soon as I said, I'm like, <laughs> oh god damn it, don't fucking ask me now. I don't know, twenty five bucks. You know, what? I'm getting something out of it too. Obviously, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm kidding. You would do it for twenty five dollars. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. That was a fucking number that is never going to be forgotten, is it? God damn it! I hate fucking saying twenty five dollars, and you'd like a, let a guy come on your come on your feet. Is that what you're saying? It doesn't matter what I say now, does it? You're just that's what you're going to stick with. I could say I'm just fucking kidding, which I'm fucking obviously just fucking kidding. But you're not going to fucking let that go now, are you? <laughs> I don't know. I so I was honestly, okay. Quite... Honestly, what what what? A, okay, an honest answer. Um, there's a number. Obviously, there's a number. There's a number for you too. There's a number for everybody. Um, fuck. I, it, okay, it would depend. Okay, now that number would have to be in you know, hundreds of thousands. All right. Right. But when Do I, I have 20, to clean my feet when I had no Wait, money? If we're, if we're setting up the scenario. Okay. Because I was, I will admit, I was broke as shit, and money was tight at that point. So, I mean, fucking nothing ever changes. But still, like, I, I was, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, what, what is involved in this scenario? What the fuck has happened to this podcast? You know what? You this, this scenario, show? this scenario will have to change too when it comes to how much alcohol is involved. All right, just. It would. It'd have to be like you know. What I mean, it's like uh, if you're after like a ton of drinks, you mu- that number might go down, right? I'm just saying, isn't like because again, how desperate you are for money as well. So that number. Uh, just to point out, just to point out, Neil being the absolute MVP here. He is. He is like whereas everyone else is like saying, oh, this and that. Everyone's dancing around the the whole thing. He's like five hundred quid a week. Well, like, he, go, well how many times five hundred quid? Oh, oh well, yeah, once a week, five hundred bucks. Okay. Uh, so, what if he only wants to do it once? Would you like just just do a thousand bucks there and done? And the, yes, okay. But the answer too. But Tom asked a very good question, and this was one of the greatest questions of all time. Do you in, do you as the person being receiving the load <laughs> onto your feet um, have to <laughs> clean it yourself? Or does that person who was presenting the load have to do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who's who's the cleaner of the said feet? Because <laughs> the thing is, so. if it's on your feet and you're then going to have to walk to the shower, so you, <laughs> you're going to be leaving a trail across the floor. <laughs> Until you put your socks back on after Oh, it, so. oh, wait, here's the thing. As in, like, what if he makes you watch? <coughs> like, do you, are you just looking up? Are you like looking off the side? You got blindfolds on? Like what? Like okay, almost, so what? 
You know what I mean? It's like there's a there's a there's got to be a moment of time stretched out to where like where the process is happening. And what are you doing then? Are you like what are you on your are you on your right. phone videotaping, or are you on your phone just playing uh, Angry Birds? You know, right? Okay, okay, okay. Right. The, <laughs> let, let me let me put some numbers on this. I am going to go with Neil. I'm going to say five hundred quid to do this for one session. However, if I have to make eye contact with the guy, I'm going to up that to like 10, 15 grand because I don't want to know what's going on. Okay, it's how about lame. eye contact with a smile on your face or with an angry face? There's a difference. All right? You can give someone eye contact. I'm gonna, you better fucking hurry up right now. You fucking speed that up right now. Don't you dare slow down. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, or, or, or like, uh... <laughs> David, do you, do you remember when this, this podcast used to be about trucks? <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> We don't. We don't have women. We don't have women on the podcast right now to to to, to, Wait, to, to put us down and to guys. normal ground. <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking about trucks because of it. I I don't know. I I'm I I don't. I I, I genuinely the my the way, idea. We do have women, facts of wife to do as well. Yeah, we, 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 we do have other things. Today. <laughs> I think the issue for me is. It, in a sense, it's it's the it's not even the act that's the, my biggest issue in this scenario. It's the awkwardness. It's the fact that it's Absolutely. the same thing. <laughs> it, it's the same thing as the hairdresser and the dentist. I think these are two activities where you should be getting paid Wait, for what's that the dentist? shit. Well, like as in, like I don't know. It's just just uh, I, I, it's too much contact. Too much like people are around you and people are doing like like i don't know like um the doctors where it's like it's like all of the attention is on you and i don't know just it's like people are staring at you and i just don't like that it just makes me feel well, wildly uncomfortable for half an hour i had two people staring at my junk there recently yeah i got a vasectomy <laughs> yeah. you know it's just for people who don't know what i'm talking about yeah i got yeah i got a vasectomy so and that was a that was a weird that was a weird thing it was just like okay this is happening and the whole like just <laughs> i'm like not that it was i don't i didn't think it was going to happen but it's it just like what if you what if there's some arousement going on right now because i had a i had a friend who did it one time and he was like he nearly got aroused. He nearly because they were talking about it, like they just just they kept saying so, some inappropriate stuff. The doctor and the nurse because they were having a good time. They were like he, he's yeah. he's he's a funny guy, and he was just more like a. But he was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, god damn it, <laughs> you know, like uh, just uh, remember now, don't get an erection. I know you're thinking about erections right now because I'm telling you not to get an erection. But as like right now is the worst time to get an erection, <laughs> you know. So uh, wait, cause what would but, happen if you? I don't know. I I, I don't know. But I had no problem. I I I I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't have a problem that kind of interaction. But uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, it was on my mind. But it was just more like because there's two people. Eventually, a guy got numb, and I you know, literally <laughs> numb because they fucking put a local anesthetic in there. Like, okay, I can't feel shit. All right, carry on. Yeah, you've, you've still got two people staring. I know directly right? at you, cross, and I, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a very surreal experience where you kind of look at you like, like, yeah, like okay. I was like, uh, as soon as you looked down, like, so did I shave my balls well enough for you? I it's just because I've never done that before, and I I didn't know if I did a good job. <laughs> it's just well, I'm I'm like let's be honest, they are like. I, I'm sure they've heard that before from a lot of guys. I'm sure they did. Shave. You know what? Okay, the, so they give you some. The, they give you some there Valium. Be that by the way. much manscaping advertisement on YouTube if there wasn't. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All the time. Uh, but no, it, it, actually, they give you a, they give you some Valium uh, for the anxiety. I had no anxiety whatsoever for the whole thing. All right, it's the only anxiety Valium, you dickhead. Well, no, 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 no. Beforehand, I, like I had, I had okay. no problem. I, it was, it was their professionals. They know what they're doing. The only because they were professionals, I had no, I had no problem. Well, I had a problem with me because I've never shaved my balls before. All right, and they want you to do, they want you to do a wet shave. So I'm, I'm very nervous about putting blades down there. All right, because my hands are not fucking skilled and, hands. All right, not not just that compared to the fucking. Let, not just that, but let's be honest. Me and V haven't had a lot of experience with shaving, in general. <laughs> and you when and was the v? last time you, huh? 
Me and thee, as in you, you. and thee. No, me and thee. V. The. As in like you. T H Y. T H E E. Me and thee. Have you never heard that before? Me and thee. No, I yeah. haven't. I'm sorry. You just as in like, ruined whatever it's, it's what, me what was happening you. right there. No, me, me and oh, you. Oh, yeah, why'd you say that? Me and you haven't had a lot of experience with uh, with shaving, have we? No, we don't. No, especially we me in the last massive... few years. Yeah, exactly. When was the last time? And, and the first we, thing. Don't even say in... we have massive beards. Are you, still, are you trying to put me into the same category as you okay, already? I had, I had You a have a beard. I had, I had I've got a, a nice fucking beard. forest. I had a nice beard until I absolute <laughs> wanker fucking shaved it off the prick. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it was, hey, by the way, as in like uh, for everybody who was uh, scared about getting a vasectomy and all those guys who have had a vasectomy and uh, complained about it, bunch of pussies. What the fuck? It was easy. It was fine. I was I was a tiny. I was uncomfortable a little bit, but it was like seriously. I've heard I've had, I've had some I've heard some nightmare stories where people were gone where they couldn't do anything for a week or a weekend. You know, and I just felt like it was just like an excuse to fucking play Xbox for the whole fucking weekend without having without having to feel guilty. You know, but it was fine. I still looked after the kids. I still I was like so, so whatever. All you guys were fucking whining about your bloody vasectomies and being sore. Yeah, you're full of shit. All right. So wives, <laughs> give them fucking extra chores. All right. I'm just telling you that right now. But anyway. So yeah, I outed you guys. All right. It isn't sore. <laughs> fucking shit. What the fuck has happened to this episode? It's got so well. We don't. We don't have horrible. Chloe and we don't have Nessa to keep us uh, grounded. So that's what yeah, happens. Yeah, that's true enough. Uh, yeah. Hey, do you want to do some facts of wife? Yeah, sure. Do it. The facts of life. The facts of life. These are the facts of David's wife. What decade were the first artificial Christmas trees developed? Okay. Um. 2000 the 1990s maybe no surely be earlier no. than that I'm going to say 1920s <gasps> no I'm going to say um, 1920 something and I'm going to say that because I, I know because this house there was a wood shortage on and I reckon okay. they were done for World War II so people could still have Christmas trees. But surely they say. didn't need Christmas trees to fight the war, did they? The morale and shit like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Christmas trees, World War II. All right. Let's find out. In the 1880s in Germany, uh, okay. the trees were made of goose feathers that were dyed green. There we go. We learn something new every day. We are very much an educational uh, podcast. Uh, that, that should be categorized as, we, as educational. Are, are we yeah, though? We are. We are. Like, really? Thanks to my wife and her and her wonderful facts there. I, you know? I think and I think having someone say the podcast at the end isn't making this educational. Yeah, it's also educating people on the fact of how much how little we know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's education, you know what I mean? That we're idiots. Saying, you know? Okay. <laughs> What pagan holiday does Christmas most resemble? Um, pagan holiday is it? Um, it, it it's like uh, it, what's it, a pagan it holiday? Not... Well, I thought oh, Halloween is isn't Halloween a pagan holiday? No, but it, Christmas is a, is a pagan holiday, isn't it? Because it's it, it's like it's is it not like something stupid like the birth of the sun? Like it, because oh. that's. Because like that's that it's like the that's when Christmas is when like the st- the sun starts getting like lighter each day and it starts getting the days start getting brighter and so they celebrated like the kind of the the fact that the sun's starting to come back each time. I think maybe I have no idea. I have no idea. I, yeah, it's it's beneath me. Let's go ahead and uh, let's find out. Saturnalia. It's a Roman holiday, and uh, they had wreaths, candles, feasting, and gift giving. Okay. Okay, that yeah. was not what I was expecting. I thought she was going to talk, talk no, about not. something different, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it absolutely makes sense. What year was the first official Christmas? Wasn't the same day. Well, obviously, well, Chris, Christ wasn't, or Jesus, that dude, he wasn't actually born 
on Christmas Day. <laughs> Apparently, he was born like a month prior or something. Or, what? Uh, to his actual birthday. Because well, they, 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 be they celebrate the birth of Christmas. Yeah, they celebrate the birth of, of Jesus Christ on the 25th of December. But that they're just celebrating it on that day. But they're not. that's not actually the day. And they, uh, apparently a lot of people were busy for a while, so they couldn't actually, uh, (laughs) celebrate. Does that mean I could just have my birthday whenever I want? Yeah, no, it's, again, it's all about celebrating your birthday. Your birthday doesn't always land on a Saturday night. All right. So you can, you can celebrate it any time you want. (laughs) The queen has two birthdays from Ivor Big Cock. That really is. The birth, what? (laughs) I I, I have um, a big cock. I I have bad news for you. At the moment, I don't think she celebrates either. Oh, we still celebrate it though. So well, yeah, we but well, now we've got that fucking idiot. In All power. right, okay, okay. We still have to we we still have to answer. All right, what's your answer? Um, I have forgotten the question. I'm gonna go what with was no- the question. Uh, <laughs> give a year. Okay, when was the first? When did we? What, what year? Did we uh, celebrate? Fuck. What's the question? <laughs> what year was the first official Christmas? What's the first? Uh, let's say 1500. 1510. Are we going to get a decade or are we going to get an actual year? <laughs> what, are we, what are we asking for here? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, like, When I was like Charles Dickens, because I I reckon right. is it? Do you so we it's have. Like, it's a, do you reckon it's like Charles Dickens was the one who kind of came up with it, and he was like, like what we what we know I as Christmas? A clue. I don't know. I'm just I. She always throws us these oddballs, and I'm just Gav, kind of waiting. All right, for Gav it. says 1452. Is Gav the one who fucking googles all the time? Is that the Googler? Who's the Googler? I can't remember uh. who the Googler is again. But uh, apparently, we want the actual year. All right, I get. I'm going. I'm going to go with 1572. All right, 1572 is my answer. I'm. Lo- I've Charles locked Dickens? it down. What That's do you what got, I Tom? I don't know. 18. Okay, 18, well, let's just 1831. Right. 1831. Okay. 336 AD in Rome, but it did not become a major Christian festival until the ninth century. All right, we're a few a few hundred years off. Okay, I, I think I was close with Charles Dickens. Yeah, sure, I'm sure you were. I'm sure no, you were no, because right no, because no, Charles Dickens was a person, and we had people in Rome. Yeah, yeah. What? The, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. We, we've not got any of these right so far. <laughs> we're never. These are facts. Most of these facts, she knows we're not. No, 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 no. What no, is no, the no, average I... number of years it takes to grow a Christmas tree? How long does it take to grow a Christmas tree? I'm gonna say one year. No, it'd be like ten years or something like that. Well, how Because you you see them, you see them, and like they've got like the different like the different levels of them, don't they? The average. Spent, All right, two. I'll say an average of two. I'm gonna say ten. Or the average six months, says Gav. When we all know who the Googler is, fifteen years, says our producer Nessa. I'm all gonna right, say ten. Just to be uh... okay, fine. 15 years. Oh, oh, I called it. Oh, wait. No, actually, it was Nessa who said 16. I wasn't. I was like, Gav, you're a little off. I'm sorry. So you're not the Googler. It turns out that Nessa is the Googler because she got yep. it spot on. All right. <laughs> All right. Next. Yeah. Now, how I long does that... it take to grow one of those massive trees that are like over 75 feet tall like you see in the Rockefeller Plaza? Oh, yeah. Do you know what the Rockefeller Plaza is? Yeah. Have you ever seen I... uh, Home Alone 2? Yeah, I'm going to say... There you go, just... 35 years. All right, so our answer from Ivor Big... Okay, we're starting off with Neil with 200 years. Nessa with 100. Uh, Ivor Big Cock is 30 years. Gav is 60. Miller is 150 years. Tom is... I said 30, but I want to I go 52. No, 42. I'm going to go 42. 52. All right, I'm going to go 43. 85 to 90 years. Okay. My Fair God. Enough. Fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah, they are quite big, right. aren't they? It does. I just kind of thought they, they might get bigger. Okay, like, so bigger. Santa Claus is based on a real person, St. Nicholas of Mira. What is he the patron saint of? 
toys. Cool. Gift giving. He's a. Um, you just went with the opposite of toys. No, I just thought Cole, because he's, he's a bastard who gives out cold to people, doesn't he? Um, That's only you, Tom. He actually gives toys to other people. I'm trying to think. Did you know that? If you were I giving, I, I, of course you know. Yeah. I would say he's either patron saint of like children or something like that. Or like, oh, I feel like orphans. I know the answer to this too. I'm sure we're gonna. Do you know the reason why he's red? In the comments. He's not red. He just wears a red suit. You know, but, but like, do you know why he wears red Tom, suit? Tom, you're not black. You just happen to be wearing a black T-shirt. So that doesn't count, you know? Right. So. Okay. Do you know why he wears a red, red suit in all of the pictures? So it can be seen? No. Uh, because that's the color of blood. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the reason Holidays why he's red. Holidays yeah. are coming. Holidays are well, coming. Well, basically, yeah. They, 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 if they made him red, it's fitting with their marketing. I really? True fact. That's a true fact. True fact, that one there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I want to believe that one. Right. Where's your missus? But, well, she will confirm this. She knows. Um, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, uh, one of our. I, th- yeah, I didn't think he was. To... Was he green? I, I thought it was oh, navy that's blue. Right. It was a green suit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Coca Cola. <laughs> well played. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what was the question again? Oh, yeah. Why is he, uh, was he the patron saint of? Children. <sighs> Patron saint of children. Let's find yep. out. <laughs> it's not going well tonight, is it, David? No. What's up with this one? Wife, can we get the answer to that one, please, if you don't mind? <laughs> because we're having technical difficulties and the file doesn't want to play. All right. Patron saint of banking, pawnbroking, sailing, orphans. I did say orphans. I said orphans. Okay, fine. You got it right if you want to claim that victory. I do, yeah. I do want to claim that victory. <laughs> so Neil, Neil's put in the thing, nonsing, which if I'm honest with you, I nearly made that joke as well. What's nonsing? Uh, let's not describe that while we're on podcast live. And actually, oh. if you go back and check, right, so your missus has said, you said children. I said children, orphans. I said both. You can go back and check it. I said both. Ah, PDF file is a nonce. Gotcha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, wife, for educating me on that one. I wasn't supposed to say that live, was I? No. I'm sorry. My Bleep. bad. My bad. <laughs> Bleep. Okay, nonce. so holiday purchases account for how much of all yearly retail sales in the US? And I'm looking for a fraction. Oh, wow. A fraction. What's what's a fraction? Is that like a? You could do percentage too. It's fine. Whatever. We can. We. we okay. She's. Well, she has the answer in a fraction, so it could be a quarter. Okay. Like I'm, I'm going to say a third. Okay. So thirty. So one over. Uh, one over thirty-three. Uh, so. Or oh, thirty-three point three 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 yeah. Let's see. One sixth. Ooh, okay, we're way off. Oh, okay, we're well, is, well, we always yeah. exaggerate. Just because yeah. we, we expect it to be a ridiculous number. We expect number. it to be some, yeah, yeah, we expect it to be ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She set All it right. up wrong now. I know, all right. And finally, uh, if you added up all the gifts in the 12 days of Christmas, how many gifts would there be? On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me. On the 12th day of Christmas. So the first one is a so partridge in a pear tree. So four. one, two, three, oh four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I'm gonna let you do this. Oh, let's go 150. I don't know. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ! Well, <laughs> All right, I'm screwed. What's the answer? 364. Yeah. I w- okay. Can you imagine if I added up all of those? <laughs> yeah, there's no way. But, 
Yeah. Well, cause is it not each uh, each day he gets like one more gift? Because mm-hmm. it's like two turtle doves, three black hens, maybe, and a partridge. Me and my day. wife, we actually used to sing this, and I used to butcher it every single time. It was hilarious. Uh, on the yeah. first day of Christmas, my true love came to me, a partridge and a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Two turtle doves and a partridge on a pear tree. Right. Listen, I just need to, I just need to say something about this song. Right. What? I just need to say something about this song. What an absolute fucking twat this guy is. Right. Imagine, yeah, imagine your true love started bringing you gifts. Now, the partridge and a pear tree. Okay, fair enough. I've now got a pear tree. I've got a partridge. Lovely. Lovely. Then he sends me two animals. He sends a, the, by the end of it. By the would, end would of it, would a partridge, would a tree right, and a partridge come as right, two? Though? I'm ranting. It's like two different gifts. By the end of it, according to this, he has sent this person three hundred and sixty-four different animals. That is a zoo. That is a zoo. That guy. I. What the fuck am I supposed to do with three hundred and sixty animals? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that many animals? Eat them. I, oh, there's drummers. There's drummers as well. So while I've got all of these animals running around, they've got fucking drummers. <laughs> Scary animals. Gold rings. Ladies dancing. Oh, ladies dancing. Nice one. Okay, fair enough. There's, there's, there's ladies that. dancing. If if they're like, you know, naked. Are they, are they strippers? Does it specify the? Strippers. Maids and milking. Well, well, yeah, but that, Tom, but that means they're sending so cows. Right now. You're getting no, but he's sending... right. If they're milking, what the fuck are you milking? Oh, actually, no, they might. Maids I know. Milking? Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. I might know what they're milking. Let's not go there. <laughs> they're milking you. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, I like okay. that gift. Okay, yeah, yeah. that that gift. How many have maids? By the way, others. out of curiosity, how many maids are milking? What number is that? <laughs> is it is handy having people in the chat because eight, okay, eight, eight, eight maids. maids are milking. So you get eight. That is women an orgy jerking dude. you off. Okay. <laughs> there's there's ladies dancing. There's an orgy. That's what this person has sent an animals <laughs> and a fucking orgy to your house. Wait, no. Am I supposed to be? Wait, is, he said, is, it, is, it, is it? Is it? A, is it? A, is it? A, is it? A, is, it a, is it a? Um, is it a male sending the, the woman the gifts, or vice versa? Or is, honestly, know? yeah, I'm trying to make a. What does he right? Ness has said cows it do. Say. They're milking cows. What does he in the song? Does he send? Does he send any? Um, oh, fucking. Let me just Google this. <laughs> you could have asked that. You could have asked the chat to Google, and they would have done a better job. And you know, come on now. Right, twelve, 12 days of Christmas, right? Partridge and pear tree, two turtle doves, three French hens. So there's a lot of animals so far. Now I'm happy with the gold's ri- gold rings. The animals are probably going to get killed on sight as they come in. Six <laughs> geese are laying. So that's more animals. Yeah. So what? What one? Yeah, two, yeah, yeah. You got three. You could eat the eggs. Um, six. We're at That's ten. An infinite amount of gifts. We're right at there sixteen. Those. We're at sixteen animals at this point here, and all I've got. I've got sixteen animals plus and some off, gold plus rings. all the offspring, and then seven swans. Are you aware how aggressive swans are? Seven swans are singing, isn't it? Isn't it? Aren't, swimming aren't just, and swans singing. Sw- Swans Swim- are absolutely swimming. They are horrible oh. creatures. They look nice. They, they look really nice. Are. The second they come up to you, I'm gonna fucking kill you yeah. because I'm a swan. Right. Then he sends eight maids milking. What are they milking? There's uh, Nessa says they're milking cows. Where are the cows? He's not sent any fucking cows unless he's they're milking one of the ducks. That's not how it works. You don't milk a duck. <laughs> and then some some ladies dancing. Happy with that again. Depending on what the maids are milking, we're, we might be happy with that. We might not be. The ladies, ladies dancing, but there are nine of them. Am I catering for this many people? Do I have to pay for the food? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Right. And the storage. Ten. And the rooms. The cleaning. Ten yeah, lords leaping. What the fuck? Right. So, right. Firstly, why do I have ten lords, lords now? Is that... Says ten like, lords they, they're, are leaping. They're all going to need their own rooms, dude. I don't think they're going to be bunking up together. Exactly. Right, so they're going to all the individual rooms and the I'm own not bathroom, paying for the Premier Inn. 
Are you paying for premiering <laughs> on this? No. Is and it uh, Uber? Well, Are you, uh, sorry, is, is this exactly, not well, what's the... Exactly. The, uh, right, and uh, it's honestly, it's fucking... This person is an absolute disgrace. Why, the, why are these lords leaping? What's wrong with them? And then <laughs> 11 pipers piping. And, of so course, have they're going to have, have to be bunked as well. And 12 drummers drumming. So you now have a band, oh. an actual band Do they band ever stop house. drumming? Like, can you I request them to not fucking, <laughs> you know? No, 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 yeah. no, no. They, they they have one request, and that is to drum. That is the only thing that they're supposed to do, which is fucking Drum honestly, on command or drum whenever they want. Right. The thing is, though, right, <laughs> it says, it says in the first line, on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Right. I don't think that that's your true love. I think that's a psychopath. It's a fucking pranker. Is one of it's, it's, a, it's a psychopath. He's a stalker. That, he doesn't. He doesn't really love you. <laughs> but like, think about this, right? Someone's written this and been like, "Oh, this is really romantic." Imagine if we had. Let's make it a Christmas if song. We had ten lords <laughs> leaping, leaping where to the death. Surely they, they have the something death? on YouTube that can actually video uh, that has made a video on this, and uh, just to show the the lords leaping. Are they yeah, leaping? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fucking disgrace this person and this person needs but to who be... decided it to be an actual christmas one you know it's the thing do you know that other song uh, i know my wife knows this but there was this christmas song that why is it even a christmas song there's no mention of christmas at all it's just like uh the what the, the girl is it's snowing outside the girl wants to go home but your man says uh no no you stay here we can do some stuff instead i know what is the name of the baby is cold you know do you know what i'm talking about can you, you can you pop up the lyrics and can you read it? All right, where just baby is called baby is lyrics. called lyrics. One second, it's it's very rapey, apparently. It's if very you actually rapey. Read the lyrics, it's a, wow, should we? It be is doing this on the podcast. Yeah, it, this is a uh, well. They can they, if hey, anybody who gets a little bit uncomfortable what we're reading, we're reading a Christmas song that everyone has has heard many, 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 many times. All right, we're just uh, we're just you know nitpicking at it as well. All right, Tom. Whenever you're ready. Um, <laughs> what what line am I reading here? What parts? Uh, okay, I should probably do the same thing. It's, I can't move my mouse. Is the thing? That's the problem with uh, the. The neighbors setup right might now. think, "Baby, it's bad out there." Say, "What's in this drink?" Holy shit, dude! Uh huh. I ought to say no, 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 sir. Mind if I'm even closer? At least I'm going to say that I tried. What's the sense in hurting my pride? I really can't say. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. you're very pushy, you know. I think it, I, I like to think as it, of it as being opportunistic. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? This is really bad. How the Isn't hell do people enjoy this shit? This is well, they don't. They don't hear the lyrics. Probably, you know. It's just. It sounds nice. It's just nice little musical Christmas musical song. You know what I mean? Isn't it? Uh huh. You, you you hear it in the malls. You know. It's just like background noise. You know. What I mean, nobody actually ever. Uh, not till lately, actually, they di- dissected the the lyrics and like, holy shit! It doesn't even mention Christmas in the, in the whole show, in the whole thing, you know. There's bound to be talk tomorrow. Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least there'll be plenty implied if you got pneumonia and died. <laughs> what the my God. fuck, dude? This is dark as shit. I uh, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Not every um, not every Christmas song is actually taught true. Uh, yeah. Some of them are about rape. Well, I think on that note, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. <laughs> if you haven't listened, then you missed that. You missed this whole last section. You are welcome. But we shall see you next time, maybe? Question mark. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. Good luck. (laughs) 
thank you so much for listening. This has been Just Another Trucking Podcast. Um, our podcast manager is David, hosts are just me this week. Um, our producer is Nessa. And if you'd like to go and support us, go to Patreon, like our beautiful Patreons, such as Andy Feltherbush, Arthur Job, Daniel Smee, Dan M, Joe Rodwell, Joe Brown, Justin Reaney, Hall, Phil Starkey, Stephen Patterson, and Trucker Colin as our mega supporters. We also have Big Mike, Gavin Williams, Neil Reese, Trucker Joe, Danny Flynn, the W anchor, and Ginger, Mother Trucker. These guys get extra perks like live chat, get extra content, and also access to the Discord. And if you'd like to support us in other ways, go to summersite.com to get some amazing merch, T-shirts, hoodies, all sorts of things. Remember, it's Christmas coming up. You can get some stuff. Really, really good. And follow us on social media like YouTube, Instagram, and just search Just Another Trucking Podcast. Thank you. Bye-bye.